yes today concept is very very important concept that is stlc okay today first concept stlc stlc what is stlc software software Development testing life cycle software testing life cycle very very important concept software testing life cycle software testing life cycle contains six phases sir first one test planning test development test execution result analysis bug tracking and reporting stlc contains software testing life cycle contains six phases test planning test development test execution result analysis bug tracking and reporting so today first concept of test planning so software testing life cycle contains six phases test planning test yeah. development test execution result analysis bug tracking and reporting today first concept to plan what do you mean by plan first of all we should know what is plan plan is nothing but it is a strategic document plan is nothing but it is a strategic document plan is nothing but it is a strategic document which describes how to perform a task in an effective manner comma efficient comma optimized way plan is nothing but it is a strategic document which describes how to perform a task in effective and efficient and optimized way plan is nothing but it is a strategic document based on the strategy plan will be changed based on the strategy based on the person strategy plan will be changed so if you do plan we can complete our work very easy so without planning we can't do that work that much of easy so plan is required if you want to do anything so plan is required plan is nothing but it is a strategic document which describes how to perform a task in an effective and efficient and optimized way so test plan document prepared by test lead test lead will prepare the test plan document test lead will prepare the test plan document test lead will prepare the test plan document so how to complete this particular project he will prepare one plan using that plan we can work with this particular project so whenever you are facing the interview that time without asking your name they may give job but without asking test plan document they will not give any job so test plan is very very important how to do this particular project so test lead will prepare one document how to do this particular project he will give some set of guidelines using that guidelines we will work with this particular project so test plan document prepared by test lead sometimes the senior software test engineers also will involve into test plan preparation they will involve into test plan preparation test plan document prepared by test lead so now we will discuss test plan index so compulsory it is very very important it is 12 pans we have so this 12 pans compulsory you should buy hard at any cost compulsory you should buy hard test plan whenever you are facing the interview that time they may ask you like just tell me you about your test plan or test plan index or test plan contents so compulsory we should explain these 12 points there is no order so but 12 points is very very important right test plan today we will discuss only test plan so test plan document prepared by test lead how to do this particular project they, he will give one set of guidelines using that guidelines we can work with this particular project so today first project first concept to test plan so test plan index we will discuss test plan index today or we can say test plan contents
first point first point introduction in this first point 1.1 objective objective the purpose of the document what is the main purpose he will describe it here in this section that is called objective objective is nothing but the purpose of the document clearly will describe it here in this section that is called objective for example you are buying any new book not notebook if you buying any new book in the first page itself he will describe that author he will describe what is that book covers what is that aim of the book what is the theme of the book what is that book contains everything he will listed out in the first page only that is called object so here also test plan document prepared by test lead he is he is saying about to test plan document what is the use of test plan document what is that book covers what is that book contains he will listed out here in this section that is called objective the purpose of the document clearly will described here in this section that is called objective the purpose of the document what is the main purpose what is that book covers everything he will listed out here in this section that is called objective very very important so, second point in this 1.2 reference documents so if you want to complete this particular project we need to refer some documents what are the documents we should refer he will listed out here in this section that is called reference document so if you want to complete this particular project we should follow some documents what are the documents we should follow he will listed out here in this section that is reference documents for example very very important concept reference documents so what is reference documents we will discuss for example recently we did one project that is icic bank project for example nearly we did icic bank project nearly 2 years nearly 2 years we did this project with 100 members for example we did one project with 100 members in 2 years we did one project so before delivery the project after developing this project we stored in common repository common repository is nothing but it is a storage place where we can store the total company information so recent completed project information upcoming project information they will store in one repository that is called common repository so icic bank project information also we will keep one set of copy in common repository right after some years we got another project So that is HDFC bank project. We got one project HDFC project. Just if you want to open account in HDFC bank or ICIC bank template is same. So similar project we got. Similar project we got. So already we have this ICIC bank information. Using this information we can complete this particular project with 20 members in two months only. Same project. Same project. But we did this project within only two months only. We can complete this particular project within two months only with 20 members only. Why? Because already we have information. Already we have total information. So if you want to, if you want to develop this particular project, already similar project already we recently we developed using that information, they can complete that particular project within two months. So that is reference documents. So if they get any HDFC project, similar project, already they have some information using that information, they can complete that particular project in within two months. That means nearly we saved nearly 22 months and nearly 80 members. Members. Actually, previous ICIC Bank project they developed nearly 100 members with 100 members two years. Two years. But uh, already we have total structure, sir. So if you want to open account in ICIC Bank or HDFC Bank, total template is same. Just remaining some fields extra, some fields less. Just we need to change the title of the bank name. So just we can complete that particular project within two months. So. That is reference documents. What are the documents we should follow? He will listed out here in this section that is called reference documents. That's the reason all the companies nowadays they will maintain common repository. Common repository is nothing but recently completed project information they will keep in one folder. In future, if they get any similar project using that information, they can complete that particular project within months. 
that is the reason they are maintaining common repository so you know, sir just if you want to maintain the common repository that, uh, that is not very expensive just within 5000 rupees we can complete that uh, common repository that means we will buy one external hard disk and we will keep the all the information into that external hard disk so if you want any information then we can copy and paste so that's the reason all the company they are maintaining common repository and you need to remember one more thing all the companies will not develop all domain projects all domain projects they will not develop all domain projects for example recently they did one project that is banking domain project so if they want to access that project so first of all they will analyze they will analyze already we have any some backups or similar project recently we did they will analyze if they have information then only they will accept that project otherwise they will not accept that project so for example we got for example uh, this is the infosys company they developed only banking domain project so recently one of the uh, customer came to company is asking insurance domain project if they have insurance domain knowledge or insurance documents if they have then only they will accept otherwise they will not accept why because they need to start from they need to start from scratch so that's the reason they will not accept so that is the reason all the companies will not may all uh, will not develop all modules all sorry all domain projects some company they will choose particular only banky domain projects some company they are choosing only incident some other uh, some company they are choosing only educational domain some company they will choose only healthcare domain project they will develop only healthcare domain projects why because they don't have any other other uh, domain uh, information that's the reason they will not accept so here if you want to complete this particular project we need to have some documents so, so we have our document what are the documents we should follow he will list it out here in this section that is reference documents so if they have reference document they can complete that particular work very easily easily they can complete that work so if they don't have any information about that particular uh, project so they can't complete they can uh, they can complete but it will take more time so if they have reference document they can complete that particular task very easy so that is the reason all the companies they will maintain common repository if you want to maintain common repository it is not very expensive simply here just to analyze easily just they did this project only two months within only 20 members actually this project will take two years and 100 members but they can complete this particular project within 20 members with within two months only so really they saved in nearly 22 months so 22 months means then you can estimate some crores of rupees they saved some crores of rupees they saved that is reference documents first point is over right second point coverage of testing second point coverage of testing 2.1 features to be testing features not to be testing features to be testing features not to be testing so what features we need to test he will list it out what features no need to test he will list it out so that is called coverage of testing what features compulsory we need to test he will list it out here in this section that is called features to be testing what features no need to test he will list it out here in this section that is called features not to be testing so compulsory we need to test some features what are the features we need to test he will list it out what are the features no need to test he will list it out so that is called coverage of testing for example for example so customer want one application so he want one application so that only is saying customer is saying add button should work fine he is not saying sabbu mallu divu clearly he is not saying just he is saying add button should work fine that is customer requirement now compulsory we need to test the add functionality that means we will take 10 in the place of value 1 we will take 20 in the place of value 2 we need to click an add button 30 is coming or not so this feature compulsory we need to test this feature compulsory we need to test customer compulsory they mentioned so add button should work fine so that is the customer requirement based on the requirement compulsory we need to take 10 in the place of value 1 we need to take 20 in the place of value 2 if we click an add button is 30 is coming or not so compulsory we need to test the feature and sabbu 
mallu divu if you have time you can test otherwise you can leave it so customer is not specified so just you can leave these fields so what are the features we need to test what are the features no need to test he will listed out here in this section that is coverage of testing next third point test strategy third point th test strategy what is test strategy so before going to test strategy first of all we should know only one thing wherever you go wherever you go if it is any software company they will maintain some uh, they will uh, they will develop nearly two to three projects if it is any software company they will develop two to three projects each and every project are having own plan that is project plan each and every project are having own plan only this applicable for only this particular project each and every plan having one own plan that is called a test plan so that plan is applicable for only that particular project total company having one own plan that is called a test strategy that is called a test strategy each and every company having each and every company having own plan that is called a test strategy test strategy test strategy is but it is a organization level term it is a organization level term each and every test plan should follow the test strategy each and every test plan should follow the test strategy plan is applicable for only for particular that particular project test strategy is nothing but it is a organization level term each and every test plan should follow the test strategy each and every test plan should follow the test strategy test strategy is nothing but it is a organization level term each and every test plan should follow the test strategy each and every test plan should follow the test strategy for example each and every software company having own strategy so based on the strategy they will develop the applications but the test plan is different the plan is is applicable for only that particular project so what is the main difference whenever you are facing the interview that time they may ask you like what is the main difference between test plan and test strategy test plan is applicable for only that particular project but the test strategy is nothing but it is a organization level term each and every test plan should follow the test strategy each and every test plan should follow the test strategy right next in this test strategy 3.1 levels of testing levels of testing there are five levels of testing is available in testing one is unit level testing module level testing integration level testing system level testing user acceptance level testing so this concept already we discussed test strategy in first point levels of testing already we discussed all levels of testing five levels of testing is already we discussed 3.2 types of testing so there are we discussed already 18 types of testing already we discussed so types of testing also very very important concept third 3.3 test design techniques test design techniques in test design techniques we have two things one is 3.1 sorry first one bva bva means bound value analysis there are two techniques available in manual testing in entire manual testing we have only two techniques one is bva bva means bound value analysis boundary value analysis second one is ecp ecp means equivalence class partition equivalence class partition so these two techniques so whenever you are working with any project any software company we will follow only two techniques one is bva second one is ecp what do you mean by technique first of all what do you mean by technique technique is nothing but just a complex task solved by very simple way say then we can say it is a technique a complex task solved by very simple way so it is called technique there are two techniques one is bva second one is ecp 
VVA means bond value analysis, ECP means equivalence class partition. Using these two techniques, we can complete our task very easy. So, wherever you go, all the software companies, they are using only these two techniques. So, these two techniques, I will, we will discuss later. After test cases concept, we will discuss later. So, this concept is pending. Test design techniques concept is pending. After test cases concept, we will discuss. And 3.4. Test metrics. Metrics means measurements. Each and every software company support the document. They will provide some support to documents like uh, use case template, test case template, defect profile template, traceability matrix template. They will provide some documents, requirement gathering template. These are the templates. Each and every software company, they will provide some documents. So the documents is called test metrics. Metrics means measurements. Each and every software company won't uh, individually, they will develop some metrics. Uniquely, they will develop one metrics. Metrics means measurements. Each and every software company support a document. So each and every software company, while developing the application, they will provide some documents like requirement gathering template to test case template to use case template to defect profile template to traceability matrix template to bug uh, uh, defect profile template to bug tracking template. So they will provide some documents. What are the documents they will provide? He will list it out here in this section that is called a test metrics. It means measurements. And 3.5 terminology terminology so for example you are going to software company so first you are working as a tester as a three plus years of experience first of all you should know what are the metrics what are the terms we will use in software company regularly like project to product to defect to quality so some terms we will use uh, regularly we will use for example whenever you are going to hospital regularly they will use some terms medicine injection or doctor or nurse uh, uh, ICU operation scanning something 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 uh, some words they will use that are all called me a terminology terminology mm -hmm. Yes, so this terminology, software terminology, I will teach you, sir. So this is also pending nearly 40 terms. I will explain you very clearly, sir. These are the terms regularly we will use in software company. So this terminology concept and the test design techniques concept, I will teach you later. Only in the manual testing only, I will teach you. So all, all terms. What are the terms regularly we will use in software company? I will explain you, sir. Next. Next. 3.6 configuration management in configuration management we have two things sir one is change control Second one is version control. One is change control, other one is version control. Change yes, control. Sir. First, we will discuss about change control. What is change control? For example, for example, customer want one application, sir. He is saying requirements. He want two buttons in the application. Customer said he want one application. He want two buttons in the application based on the customer requirement. Developer developed. We are they are developing the application based on the customer already we got FRS in the FRS he said he want two buttons in the application customer he said in FRS he want two buttons in the application that information also we got it we got FRS so he said two buttons in the application and the middle of the project the customer came to company and he said to developers sir sir I said two buttons but I need three buttons based on the customer requirement they developed three buttons this application developed and they are sending to testing department. Already we have FRS. In the FRS, the customer is said two buttons in the application. That information not updated to testing department. So actually, developer developed three buttons. They are sending to testing department. Then we will raise the defect to developers. Then we will raise the defect to developers. So then developers will give explanation. Sorry, actually, what happened, you know, uh, actually in the FRS customer is said two buttons, but recently customer came to company and he said three buttons in the application. That's the reason we developed like this. So issue was closed. Issue was closed. Okay. 
so after this uh, project completion we will store in common repository that project information we will keep in common repository we will keep in common repository in future we got another project so that is a similar project that is same similar project so if i want to use this document as a reference document that time we can feel confused actually in the frs customer is mentioned two buttons in the application but application having three buttons so we can feel confused we can feel confused why because in the frs customer is said two buttons in the application but the developer developed three buttons in the application so we can feel confused why because we are uh, we are using as a reference document we are using as a reference document if you want using as a reference document we can feel confused why because in frs is customer is said two buttons in the application but the application having three buttons we can feel confused so in that situation okay we can feel confused so that's the reason each and every software company so they will maintain change control if it is any changes made by customer or company or developer or tester so if it is any changes made by any one in application parallelly we need to update the information into frs that is called change control Okay. So change control means if it is any changes made by customer or company or developer or tester, if it is any changes made by anyone in application, if it is any changes made by anyone in in application, so parallelly that information we need to update into FRS. That is called change control. That is called change control. If it is any change changes made by anyone, if it is developer or tester or uh, anyone, if it is developed by anyone, compulsory we need to change the information into FRS. That is called change control. Sir, one minute, sir. Yes. Um, because customer requirement, we can't change the. Uh, we don't have a power to change that uh, requirement, no. Uh, we can't change. Um, sometimes uh, we can change. Sometimes we can change. For example, customer is said uh, one button, so that is not possible in that application. So that uh, in that situation, we can say to customer, sir, sir, this is this uh, this process is not possible, or this uh, button is not possible in this application. It is very dangerous. So so in that situation, we can change. We can give the uh, guidelines. Uh, we can give the suggestion, sir. Actually, you said red mm -hmm. button in the application, but the red button is not good for uh, this application. Sir. So just you should change the color so we can give the suggestions. So um, we have okay, okay. okay for example yeah. developer developers also uh, sometimes they will do some changes sir Actually, you said two buttons sir, but uh, here is in this button in this application only one button is very possible sir uh, if, it, if you want two buttons so remaining one button is very small uh, it good uh, it's looking is not very good sir so go for only one button is best sir so he will do some changes okay yeah. customer after first customer is gave two requirements first he customer gave two requirements after some days he he want to three buttons in the application he can add it he can add it if it is possible we can take the requirement each and every software company they will maintain they will maintain customer customer request customer request document customer request document so if it is any changes if you want to do any changes he can do it so if it is possible we can accept otherwise change request to template each and every software company they will maintain change request to template if it is possible if it is not developed then we will accept already developed so if you do once again if you do changes if you want to do changes so remaining functionalities may be reflect or effect that time we will not accept sorry sir already the work is finished so if i want to develop once again it is very difficult to uh, change, uh, do the changes sorry sir we can say frankly okay so middle of the project sometimes we can make the changes we can make the changes if it is added by customer or developer or tester or company so we can do some changes sometimes it is not possible always i'm not saying it is always possible no 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 change request template customer he will do some changes in the application so he will apply for he will apply so i want to do some changes in that situation if it is possible we can accept otherwise we can reject okay next version control next version control so for example we have one version sir so yeah, in this one version one. we have three buttons a b c in this version we have three buttons so that is a b c this is the version name is 8 8 version they are introducing into 
they are introducing new version into market so that is ninth version c a b d why they are introducing another version already eight version is introduced into market why they are introducing another version so already in existing eight version we have some drawbacks or uh, existing version is not working that's the reason they are introducing another version that is ninth version so they introduced mm -hmm. ninth version now i'm doing testing while doing testing i got one problem i'm raising defective developers sir b is not working I am saying only simply I am raising the defect. B is not working. I am raising. So developers will not accept. Why? Because which version B is not working? Which version? Eighth version or nine version or seven version or six version or tenth version? So whenever you are raising the defect, compulsor we should mention the version number also. Then only they will accept. Otherwise they will reject. Simply they will reject. So for example in Mozilla, for example, for example Mozilla. Mozilla Firefox. So that latest version is 50. So I'm raising defect to some help button is not working. So which button? Which version button is not working? Compulsor we should mention. Then only they will accept. Otherwise they will reject. So version number also very very important. Whenever you are raising the defect, compulsor we need to mention the version number. Version number also very very important. All right. 3.6 is over. 3.7. Automation plan. Automation plan. They want to implement automation in this project. Is this possible or not? Is this possible or not? They will plan it. So automation plan prepared by automation test lead will prepare the automation plan. If they want to introduce automation into in this particular project, is this possible or not? They will do testing, so that's why that is called automation plan. So in this project, this project in this project, this automation is possible or not? They will plan it. So in this project, automation implementation is possible or not? They will check. So that is called automation plan. Automation plan prepared by automation test lead. Three point eight. List of automated tools. List of automated tools. If they want to introduce automation into into this particular project, so which tools we can use in this particular project based on the company, based on the com uh, uh, company economical status, com based on the customer requirements, based on company project the project type they will choose the list of automated tools so for example previously for example i worked in cap Gemini or mnc company we used nearly uh, 10 lakhs tools 5 lakhs tools now currently i'm working in mn uh, not uh, mnc company small company so here also we can we can't use that uh, the tools whatever we use in uh, cap Gemini or mnc company the tools we can't use it why because so tool cost is Three to five lakhs rupees. So previously I worked in MNC company. That time we used you know, big tools like five lakhs tools, ten lakh tools. This is a small company, so we can use. In market we have different different type of tools like you know, uh, for example, functional tools only. So one thousand tools, one thousand within one thousand only we can go. Uh, we can get some tools, and within ten crores also we can get some tools based on the company economical status. We will choose the tools. So for example, in market we have different different cars like you know nano car benji car or IB, uh, bmw so person based on the person uh, economical status he will choose the cars based on the person economical status he will choose the tools so for example he will the poor people they will not buy bench car okay so based on the person economical status he will choose the car just like based on the company economical status they will choose the car tools so here in market we have different different type of tools like thousand rupees tools also we can get it to 10 lakhs tools also we can get it to 1 crore tools also we can get it based on the company economical status they will choose the tools so what are the tools we will use in this particular project they will discuss or he will listed out here in this section that is list of automated tools so that three points is over fourth point Fourth point. Fourth point. Base criteria. 
base criteria. In this, we have two points. One is 4.1 acceptance criteria. Second one is suspension criteria. One is acceptance criteria, second one is suspension criteria. So, first acceptance criteria. While doing testing, while doing testing, if you get this type of result, if you get this type of results, just our testing is more than enough. He will say one end point that is called acceptance criteria. While doing testing, if you get this type of result, just our testing is more than enough. No need to test. He will say one end point that is called acceptance criteria. I will show you with example. Next, suspension criteria. While doing testing, if you get this type of result, our uh, just stop the process. No need to test. He will say one end point that is called suspension criteria. While doing testing if you get some this type of results our testing is more than enough no need to test you will say one end point that is called acceptance criteria while doing testing if you get this type of result so no need to test just stop the process or suspend the process you will say one end point that is called suspension criteria so for example so while doing testing while doing testing if you take 10 in the place of value 1 if you take 20 in the place of value 2, if you click on add button, if it is showing 30, yes, our testing is more than enough. Once again, if you take 10, 100, if you take 200, if you click on add button, yes, our testing is more than enough. No need to test. Already, our testing is more than enough. No need to test. You will say one end point that is called acceptance criteria. Next, suspension criteria. If you are taking 100 into value 1, if you are taking 200 into value 2, if you click on add button, it is not showing anything. It is not showing anything. For example, it is not showing anything result. So, stop the process. Suspend the process. There is no use. How many times you will, if you want to take any values, it is not giving any values. So, suspend the process. Stop the process. You will say one end point that is called suspension criteria acceptance criteria suspension criteria these are very very important things okay where exactly we need to do test where we need to stop the testing so you will say one end point so that is called acceptance criteria and suspension criteria next fifth point sir who will say this one um Test, test lead, and, uh, test test lead. lead. Okay. Test lead only. He's preparing a test plan document prepared by test lead. Okay. Okay, right. Fifth point test deliverables. During delivery, we need to provide some documents. What are the documents we need to provide? He will listed out here in this section that is called test deliverables. During delivery, we need to provide some documents. What are the documents compulsory we need to provide? He will listed out here in these sections that is called test deliverables. During delivery, we need to provide some documents. What are the documents we need to provide? He will listed out here in this section that is called test deliverables. So, for example, if you want to buy a new TV or laptop or desktop, so they will give some CD, OS, operating system, uh, like uh, some plugins or user manual, known issues document they will provide. The, that are all called test deliverables. So during project delivery, we need to provide some documents or applications or some user manual or known issues document. Everything we need to provide. What are the documents we need to provide? He will list it out here in this section that is called test deliverables. Testing during deliver uh, during delivery, we need to provide some documents. What are the documents we need to provide? He will list it out here in this section that is called test deliverables. Next, test environment. Next test in environment. Customer is said the developed project should work in Windows 7 environment. Which technology suit for Windows 7? They will choose the technology. Either .NET, either .NET, or Java, or PHP. Test in environment. 
test environment means customer is said the developer project should work in windows 7 environment which technology suits for windows 7 that the technology that the software that environment we will set up in our company so we will install that application into that environment if it is working then only we will go to customer place and we will install the application into client environment test environment is very very important customer specified environment for example already we discussed so if it is a customer you are the customer you say two buttons in the application i developed only one button you will raise the complaint i will rectify the problem i will i can solve the problem that is not big issue so in future you will not give any extra project for me but that is not very big issue but if it is not satisfying the customer requirement uh, customer will not compromise so compulsory that should work in customer specified environment so that is very very important to test environment so customer is said the developer project should work in windows 7 environment which technology suits for windows 7 we need to choose the technology or dotnet or java or php so we will choose the technology and we will develop the application that is technology uh, sorry test environment test environment is very very important seventh point resource planning In market, we have different different domains like uh, like banking domain, finance, healthcare domain, educational domain. We have different different domains. So, for example, we got newly one project that is insurance domain project. So, we have insurance professionals are not. So, they will discuss just like if you want to complete this particular project, we need money, time, technology, software, premises and employees we need all those things we have or not they will temporarily they will plan that is resource planning resources resources means not only employees we need all those things we have or not so here employees also very very important why because some companies they are giving a paper ad we want three years banking domain professionals so that means they want only banking domain professionals so only banking domain professionals only they will choose why because they got one banking project that's the reason they are choosing only banking domain professionals if they have domain knowledge they can complete that particular work is very easy if they don't have any domain knowledge they can't do so compulsory uh, just we can save the time if you have domain knowledge we can save the time without domain knowledge we can't do anything so we can do but it will take more time so that's the reason resource planning okay we got recently one project that is insurance domain project we have insurance professionals are not how many members we have how many members we need to recruit they will plan that is resources planning resources means not only employees here clearly i'm mentioning resources means not only employees if you want to complete this particular project we need money time technology software premises employees all those things we have are not we will plan that's why that is called resource plan eighth point staffing and training okay for example we need staff we need staff for well, incidents domain projects people we need incidents domain uh, uh, knowledge people we required so first of all we need to give the staff uh, staff means we need to recruit the people how we can recruit through company or through consultancy how we can recruit they will discuss about staffing and after uh, recruiting the staff compulsory we need to give the training how we can give the training through uh, internal resources or external resources or corporate trainers so how to, how we can give the training where exactly we can give the training they will discuss about only staffing and training employees recruiting and as well as we need to give the training how we can complete this process they will discuss internally so that is called staffing and training that is eighth point ninth point risks and solutions risks and solution whenever you are working with any software company regularly we will face some problems software uh, software uh, uh, just like a company owner he will face some problems what are the problems he, he can face what are the problems he can face middle of the project employees leave the company that is the risk that is the risk middle of the project employees may leave the company that is the risk what is the solution so each and every software company each and every software company if they want 20 members if they want 20 members they will give training 30 members they will give training 30 members if they want 20 members. members for example for example if they want 20 members they will give training in 
30 members so they will take into project 20 members remaining 10 members they will keep on bench 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 means extra employees extra employees for example for example team india they are going to australia to so they will re uh, recruit nearly 20 to 25 members actually team size is only 11 members why they are recruiting 25 to 30 members so extra employees just like each and every software company they will maintain bench each and every software company they are paying some crores of rupees for bench people some crores of rupees for bench people so bench means extra employees if they anyone uh, going to any other software company so in the place of that person they will keep someone so that is bench each and every software company nearly daily every month they are paying some crores of rupees for bench employees so what is the main risk middle of the project employees leave the may leave the company that is the risk solution what is the solution each and every software company maintain the bench bench next to 10th point scheduling scheduling what is said scheduling each and every software company perfectly they will follow schedule they will follow schedule for example so this is the work this is today work this is tomorrow work this is the after tomorrow work actually in this project mm -hmm. we have only four members for example we have four members this is today work tomorrow day after tomorrow actually we are working four members in this particular project two members actually this work is uh, scheduled already at any cost we need to complete this work today only so actually this is the four work four members work already scheduled two members came to company two members absent two members came to company two members is absent two members came to company two members absent so in that situation at any cost these two members they need to complete that work today only at any cost already this is said schedule each and every software company will follow you schedule perfectly perfectly they will follow schedule perfectly they will follow schedule at any cost they need to complete that work today only at any cost at any cost they need to complete that work today only that they need to complete work at today only why because there is a schedule already scheduled for example for example this is the tomorrow work four members came they did that work in within one hour within one hour they did that work within one hour so remaining hours they will not give you any work they will not give you any work so you can take rest or you can came you can uh, uh, you can come to your home there is no risk uh, there is no work they will not give you any work that is scheduling perfectly they will follow they will not give tomorrow work so that tomorrow work they need to do in tomorrow only this work today compulsory we need to complete today so each and every software company perfectly they will follow schedule so each and every software company will teach you ethics standards everything okay there is no professionals there is no trainers but it, it, it that software company will teach you everything how to live how to talk how to walk everything it will teach you so there is perfectly they will follow schedule so each and every software company before uh, project after getting the project they will schedule the, all the works right and moreover you know so if it is if it is this month is 30 days for example 29th friday 29th is friday 30th is saturday for example saturday at any cost they will credit salary 29th evening only at any cost they will credit the salary 29th only so each and every software company perfectly they will follow everything so we should follow we should also follow 11th one assumptions if you want to complete this particular project we need to assume something which one we need to assume so recently we completed some projects this is a similar project for uh, so and so x project so we need to assume that project and we need to complete that work so assumptions also very very important here also he will mention he will mention the full details what project we should assume he will mention here that is assumptions 12th point last point approval information who gave permission so this document prepared by 
actually test uh, test lead will prepare the test plan document approval information means so this uh, document is prepared by <coughs> test lead actually this is prepared by test lead so you need to get the permission from superiors like project lead or technical lead so you need to get the permission from superiors who gave permission his name details designation everything you will listed out here in this section that is the approval information so if you giving the uh, approval then only we can start the project so based on this particular project plan we can complete this project very successfully so you need to get the permission from superiors then only we can apply this particular project plan for this particular project <coughs> this is the test plan document the test plan document prepared by test lady here we have 12 pants this 12 pants at any cost compulsory you should buy hard so there is no other alternate okay there is no order first one is introduction last one is approval information this is the order remaining anyone you can tell so this is test plan document prepared by test lead actually this is not our work but we discussed why we discussed